Now, I'm a, a, I am like going to the cinema. It's one of my favourite things to do, probably in my past time. You know, get some food, get some big flavoured drink that t- makes your teeth feel all funny and gives you brain freeze or whatever. It's a time for a celebration. It's a time for, you know, relaxing, getting, getting comfortable and just, just sitting in a dark room at a big screen. One thing I'm, I am actually looking forward to is Five Nights at Freddy's. Not because I think it will be good, but because I think it will be horrific. Video game, films, TV show, they don't have a great track record. Yes, Last of Us did throw a spanner in the works because that was actually, you know, half decent. I don't think it's better than the game, but I thought it was decent, you know what I mean? Um, what's it called? Pedro Pascal, he's a good Joel. I'm not a big fan of Bella Ramsey, but that's not what we're talking about. Anyway, look at this fight that happened at Five Nights at Freddy's. I can't wait to go and watch this film just to see what had to take place in order to end in a fight. Maybe it's a really controversial ending. Maybe one of them said that movie was shit, shouted it, and he just turns around to Sparks him, but let's watch it. I feel so Proper fist fights as well, you know, sparking each other out. I mean, that's just nuts. They've got the camera, they got the lights on so they can all see properly. He's like, but you knock him out. I mean, he's going for it there. I wonder what happened. It looks like it's probably American though, and everything dramatised happens in America. But I'm actually looking forward to the film. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments. But that's not what we're here to talk about today, okay? Now, I made a couple of videos on Adam22. I think he's the biggest weirdo and freak the internet has ever seen. He is so full of needing attention and clout and fame and all this, that and the other, that he basically says tells his wife to get boned by big black men makes memes and things about it so that it goes on the internet and gets published and gets lots of publicity and gets idiots like me to make videos why am i making a video if you like watching and filming your wife get banged by sick black peepees that's cool man but don't fucking make it into a big sort of proud he's clearly really happy and oh look at me i like my wife getting boned and i like all the clout i like all the fame i like all the hate it's just a sad sad freak of nature that unfortunately his dad should have you know he should have wasted his ball sack children on a bloody tissue or something because this is a waste of human genes now we're going to play the video it's only short then we'll discuss what is going on there's a lot here to be excited about i think this could be very positive for our society and economy there's a lot here to be excited about. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. There's nothing positive about it, really. It's actually quite embarrassing. I mean, she stood there, smi- sat there smiling like a little fucking twinkle. You've got five very large black men staring like they're about to... Looks like they're all about to, you know, R-A-P-E her. <laughs> It looks kind of dodgy. Now, this guy, Adam22, if you don't know, he filmed a video, well, he filmed actually a video of Jason and her. Jason, uh, I don't know his last name, but he was like a porn star bloke. You'd recognise him, he's fucking everywhere, you know what I mean? And he basically filmed it. He got a load of crap, well-deserved, and loads of hate online because of this absolute nonsense, this facade that he puts up that he's happy with it. It's such a weird premise. Personally, I think marriage. Now, call, call me old-fashioned, boys. Call, call me weird, I know. Bloody hell, Nazi in the corner over here. Christian Catholic, you know, you have your wife, you know, keep your wife, <laughs> she's your wife, wife, you got to go around boning and filming it and then, you know, putting it online for people to see and then asking them and expecting them to pay for it, it's so weird, the problem I have as well is this sort of facade, he says this, this is good for the economy, this is good for our society, he clearly knows that people hate this sort of stuff and that he's more or less becoming an online laughing stock he is a joke i mean i'm not really into watching five big black schlongs boning a woman that is not particularly attractive at all i mean you know what i mean i think on a grading scale i'd give her like a you know seven maybe 7.25 if i was had a few beers or something like that I, you know i wouldn't give her very highly this guy's an absolute melon an absolute tool an absolute weapon an absolute unit i would love someone just to clock him no i don't but he's just an idiot i mean i had to look at his twitter uh, just to see what it was I was going to go through it, but I can't go through it. He's got a picture of his penis on there and like someone licking his butt crack. I mean, what is that? I know. Why do people need to see that online? He is an absolute joker and an absolute waste of oxygen. I honestly truly believe, though, that he, he, this is all for clout, all for money, all for fame, and that he needs to seriously sort out his life. I don't understand what is the, promi- the premise of doing this sort of behavior and this sort of stuff. Because he's an American YouTuber, basically, and... It does this OnlyFans stuff as well. Lena the plug. I mean, just look at that. You know, you got to pay for it as well. Who's 
paying for this sort of nonsense? Who in their right mind pays for this shit? It is truly absurd. If you pay for this, I want you just to like seriously have a look at yourself. So the men have been identified as con- adult content John Legendary, Jay Hefner, Crip Mac, They Hate Lil D, and Thugger. So they are all basically porn stars. So he, he posted a selfie as well, like of that guy. Like, look at that. Fucking hell, you've got to be some sad, money hungry freak to do that, mustn't you? You know, film your wife getting boned by five men and then put, you know, give it to people to pay for. Like, why would you do this? What in you know, the right mind makes you think, yeah, this is a good idea. I'll film this and put this on the internet. Make people pay and spend a lot of money. I mean, look at these guys. They're looking her up and down like she's a fucking tart. You know what I mean, though? It's absolutely bananas and absolutely crazy. I mean, this was two, three months ago I made the other videos and he's just back at it again. Back in the game with the white bands. Back in the game with the white bands. I mean, they're just both. Yes, this guy, what's he called? Oh, just Jason, 38. <sighs> <laughs> it was just business. It was a job. God, this is. Nuts. What do you guys think of Adam Twenty Two? Though I think he's a massive freak of nature, and I, you know, I'm not. I'm not trying to hate. You do you, boo boo. If you want to, you know, film your wife getting bone, bone choned in fucking while she moans. I mean, you know, if you don't mind that, then that's completely fine. I'm not, you know, not here to hate, but I think I just don't like this facade of that he, he, he makes up and turns it into sort of like a spectacle and a big drama piece and tries just to make, you know, as much money from basically selling his wife and himself for OnlyFans. I think it's pathetic, but, you know, I've fallen for his trap again. I've made another video. That's all he wants is just attention, clicks, views, people to know his face, recognise him, that sort of thing, and it works. I fall for his trap, whatever. Fuck you, Adam, you fucking prick.